bet. Bass fishing at its best. Is proudly brought to you by Edenvale Gearbox and Diff. For all your gearbox and diff requirements specializing in 4x4. Before the break. By early afternoon, most teams have their five fish, despite the poor predictions. No exception and currently 16. Father and son, Johan and Nikki of Team F1 Grand Prix Tours.co.za too. We started fishing here and we've been here all day. We heard the guys are struggling, so we got fish here this morning and we decided we're just going to stick it out, see if we can upgrade as the day progress. It's rather be with a few small fish than no fish at all. Yeah, we've been uh, fishing mainly flukes this morning, depending on whether the wind was blowing or not. If it was no wind, we changed to small junior flukes. And as soon as the wind came up again, we upgraded to uh, super flukes. Um, and that's been uh, pretty successful. I think we probably caught in the region of about 12 fish, which is not a lot, but I think in terms of today's circumstances is not too bad. Yeah, and that's a pattern that we've been following. We've tried various other things unsuccessfully, like uh, crankbaits, spinner baits, uh, lipless crankbaits, but yeah, not one of them produced, so it's back to the old fluke again. I think we're gonna hang on here for still a short while, maybe half an hour. Feels like I'm getting here something. Yeah. Yes, I've got one, I've got one. Bring the bear out of net. Oh, it's not that big, but no, no, it's not that big. Oh, we'll see if it's an upgrade or not, but I doubt. Look deep, eh? Closer to the way station and fishing off a point, we jump on board with Timo Grande as Rion recaps their day. Oh, well, we basically started this morning, uh, pulling number 53, great start to the day. <laughs> Moved up river, um, very cold there. We caught one uh, 800 grammer. Um, moved back to a spot just here opposite the pump house where we managed to, to get limit. Uh, some decent fish in there, uh, 1.5, 1.2, and another uh, 800 grammer. So yeah, we, we left with one, well, we went and weighed three of them. Uh, two dinks, well, 800 grammer and a, and a 500 grammer still left in the in the, in the live well, so let's hope we can upgrade them. Well, we, we've been mostly, well, the two bigger fish came on the uh, fishing mojo slow. Uh, we're using the El Grande hatch match stick and uh, Dirty Sky. It's been the one that's been doing the damage for us. Yeah, there you go. Smoke. Let's see, it's not the one we want, it's better than nothing. At least we can see there's something on that structure. It's not big, but it's there. Put it back. Unable to upgrade any fish before the time is up, Team El Grande joins the race to the scales. It's now apparent to everyone that the fishing was not as bad as expected. But will their fruits of the day be enough to secure the sought after winning trophy? In fifth place, with a weight of 4,79. Formula One Grand Prix Tours, Leon and Nico. In fourth place, with a weight of 4,91. Darren and Rory from Team Camjaw. In third place, for 2,000 Rand, with a weight of 5,23, Team Bushwhackers, Paul and Louis. In second place, and they're not here, they only fished till 11 o'clock and went off to nationals with a weight of 5,45, Team Roughneck. Then in first place, for 7,000 Rand, Yamaha champions, Sensational De Beers, Mona and Lee, 5,91. When we started off the morning, we started in about, I'd say about six to eight foot of water. We started throwing very small uh, flounders, small plastics, and at a stage, Monet, within about, I think, 20 minutes, Monet decided he'll throw a little jerk bait. He used a, a Strike Pro uh, sexy shade color. I persisted with the plastics, but came second by far. <laughs> so that's what got us this today, is the little Strike Pro jerk, jerk baits. 
the sensational De Beer brothers lead the August Fit Bank top 10 teams. Having only fished for half the day, Team Roughneck secures second. Every gram counts today as a mere 1,56 kg separates first and 10th. The logs after this eighth event has only one position change. Team Roughnecks maintain their top spot over Team F1 Grand Prix Tours.co.za1, while Mardis gains one spot over Team WDU as they move from 9th to 8th. With the 2011 Bet Classic around the corner and entry only reserved for the top 20 teams, competition is fierce. It all boils down to this one event. One dam, one day. 20 teams as they fight for the prestigious title and honour of the 2011 Bass Equaliser Tournament Trail Gauteng Classic Champions. Leaving it all on the water, the champions walk away with a fibre panels custom built 16 foot sniper boat. This beautiful piece of craftsmanship is made for speed and built for comfort. Sniper boats where performance and value meet. The Western Accessories Tackle Box, home of the Waft Rod. In the tackle box today, I've got some quite interesting uh, new products for the newer anglers to bass angling. The guys that have been around a long time will remember the products, Reaction Innovations. Reaction Innovations, the most uh, popular or the most famous lure or infamous lure that they ever made was the Sweet Beaver. These are coming back into South Africa, along with a broad range of uh, Trixie Sharks, Trixie Shads, Finesse Baits, the Skinny Dipper Swim Baits, the Crawfish, etc. Beautiful colour ranges. Reaction Innovations have always been known for having really, really different colours. We're going to be carrying an extensive range in the shop. We're also bringing in Kicker Fish Range, Kicker Fish Bait Company. Kicker Fish Baits also very popular in America. Uh, lovely soft plastics. They've got awesome craws, beautiful uh, lizards, finesse baits with floating tails. They've got swim baits right across the board. Something we've spoken about before as well are the waft rods. This is a beautiful new nanotech blank that's come in with silicon carbide uh, guards in titanium frames. It's a mixture of a standard guard with a micro frame with the micro guards as well that uh, more and more guys are becoming familiar with now. The reason for the slightly bigger guards leading into the, the tip of the rod, what we've done here is we've used a bigger guard just to improve the castability on the rod. Um, there's going to be uh, five rods in the range. We're going to be a six foot six medium, seven foot medium, seven foot medium heavy, seven foot two heavy, and a specialized seven foot six frog rod for so many of the guys that are looking forward to the summer frogging on the top water patterns. Coupled with the waft rod today, I fished with the loose speed spools, ultra light, compact, extra smooth casting. The combination of the rod and reel, absolutely perfect. Effortless fishing the whole day for us today. All these products available from Western Accessories, Boxburg and Krugerstorp. Join us next month as teams battle it out at Nandoni Dam on the 3rd of September. Bass fishing at its best is proudly brought to you by Yamaha VMAX, super high output for stroke outboards. Imperial Toyota, your lifestyle dealer. And McChrystal Insurance, an authorised financial service provider. Catch the next exciting Bet KZN Premier on the 27th of September at 6pm on Supersport 1.